begin the drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 30. 10. Showtime and he's today, in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they may be giving up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third third quarter and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time but still work to do no doubt about it I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit maybe pump up the pace maybe go two minute who knows let's see what they decide to do Jadavian Clowney there on the stop ball on the 30 they'll come up with a second and five at the 30-yard line. Another run here with Dobbins. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. To throw again, Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Call that a gain of 38. A big march forward on the third down conversion. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. And it's third down. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. It's a 3-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Jackson now, out to his left, looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. It's a loss of two, now third down. Throwing is Jackson. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to play. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, there to make the grab, and the Ravens get a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. 
and you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And not a good return here at all as he'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Tannehill, a quick throw into the hands of Davis. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. 13 yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Less than a yard. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Titans. Henry, 78 yards, and the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And up two scores late. No clue why you do this here, but they're going to go for the onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Sack there by Judevian Clowney. Here's Jackson on third and long. Flushed out right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson over the middle complete. It's Andrews. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Play action. It's Tannehill. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 19. And that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned the block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. Second and eight. 
the 15-yard line. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have used the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Jackson. And he'll get in as they're back within his score now. The lead's down to seven. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two point play, it worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. And this carries into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up a third down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Don't stop that motor. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Now it's Tannehill. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and ten. The toss right to Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Chuck Clark brought him down. Ten yards on the pickup. It's on second down now. It's Henry. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 
So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises, really both sides.